Hey, what's going on? Yeah, hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sam TRC here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. My apologies for the last episode being boring, but this time... We're going back to Akana, but not for what you would expect, because last time, the curiosity shop owner told us the cafe would be at Akana. So, yeah. Contrary to, well, I guess I never said the full sentence, but I was about to say tomorrow, but it's not tomorrow. I'm trying this literally right after the last one. Um, yeah. By the way, I should probably, um, yeah. So, um, we don't want... Um, we don't want, um, inverted time here, we actually want regular time. Here is the way. I found a very happy one. He's using this place as a safe house for the stolen goods. Here's the shop and I follow the storage from behind that rock door. Look at those jagged ass N64 graphics. And the prompts to the show. So, I'm supposed to hide up here. And, um, with time uninverted, you have to wait until the right time. So, I guess I could just take this time to talk about things. Oh. I kind of exhausted the main topic of the whole Discord story, but, um... Is the guy coming? I can hear his footsteps. Um... But yeah, you know. I'm trying to think of something, but I legit cannot think of anything. Um... Yeah, my, uh, my day wasn't really anything. <laughs> it was just, you know, regular day, got some breakfast, sat down, YouTube videos, lunch, and then I'm recording YouTube now. Anyways, she's opening the door. I wanted to say something there, but I didn't have anything. Yeah, um, now I have to follow him into the rock door. Apparently this door can close, but I've never seen it happen. Slack on Titan. Ah. Look, there's a mask there. The sun's mask. Now I've done it. Wow, they just reused Link's assets. Step on that switch. What? Are you telling us what to do? It's some setup where the door stays open while only that switch is pressed. And now we get to actually play as Cafe. Um, yeah. There should be some device in this room. Oh, that also opens the door the mask. He's trying to pull it out of her reach and make it escape the factory. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, Cafe just has like a slapping move. Doesn't even have a sword. It's no good. Yeah, mechanism something. I don't like him, but is there a choice? Should we help him? No moving ahead in the face of danger when we know it's for the better, like tail. That's it. Let's go. He doesn't... Actually, he doesn't have a fourth attack. Well, fourth attack?! No, it's a one, two, three. She doesn't have a third. I keep calling him a she. I just... I suck. He does not have a third attack.
There we go. Very simple room. I got the sun's mask back. Still time, I must get back to town. So, it's 6 p.m. We could probably, you know, do some other quests. Um, you know, tower might go smoothly, so, you know, we can go and do that. And why do I have a really bad feeling about this? Developer said, gave you a massive fuck you, and says no, final hours. So here's what we gotta do. We had the priority mail when we got the Keaton's mask. If you remember that. So now we have to go over to Clock Town and actually deliver it. Um, if you. Deliver it directly, you will get a bottle with Chateau Romani in it. If you, um, which is the way most people will probably do it. But there's actually a more secret way to do it, and it's in West Clock Town. I'm already losing direction. Um, in West Clock Town, if you equip the priority mail and go to the postman's hut, See the postman. Oh, I want to flee, but it's not written on schedule. To me, the delivery schedule is the highest priority. This is priority mail seal. It's the highest of priorities. I shall deliver it. Yeah, so most people just deliver it to the mother directly, but you can actually get the postman to do it. And doing this will get you a mask. You need this mask to obviously the true ending in the beginning. Because you need all 24 masks to get, a, to get the true ending. The heart pieces don't matter, and to be honest, you don't need them. I'm just um, getting them all for completion of sake. So, yeah. He's gonna run as fast as he can over to East Block Town. The milk bar. I didn't want to do that. Oh, you remember? Come in. Oh dear, are you here? Not fleeing. Looks like this is there for this town. You suddenly moon's gotten so huge. All the town's flow has flooded. You should flee too far away. But not her. She's going down to town. Yeah. I have a delivery for you, Miss Mistress. Oh my, it can't be. You're still here? T tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. What are you saying? Did you see a sigh? It's terrible. But, but... Oh my. Well, what shall we do? It's from Cafe. Yeah. It's Priority Mail so happy to think something good will come in the end. Thank you. Now flee now. That's an order. Understood. Now, um, so I obviously had to do this, uh, quest twice. Talk to this guy. I've decided to flee. It's an order from the postmaster. I'm free. I don't need this anymore, so I'll give it to you. If you are too late in getting the clock town by either not using the Song of Soaring or um, not knowing where the postman is, if he reaches that wall, by one hour remaining, he will not give you the postman tag. And you will have to do the side quest again. 
Please don't do that. <laughs> well, anyways. Now we can put this on, and if we find a, a mailbox, we can check it. You're doing a great job, kitchen. Some other item that, other than a letter has been deposited, kitchen. It's a piece of heart. Nice work, kitchen. Now it's the end of the world. So you know what? Let's be a little crazy. Let's let's go into this room and thinking of other people's rooms. You're the worst. Yeah, even when the world's ending, still tattles still a little bit. But that's not the room we're supposed to go in. It's this one. You can see Andrew here waiting for a cafe. I decided to wait for him. I made my promise. I, I'm fine with this. I believe him. Basically committing suicide for her husband that they're going to spend an hour with. And there's a silver rupee in there, so you know exactly what we're about to do. We're about to rush back all the way to West Clocktown to deposit this to min-max our rupee count. Now, what would have been cool if this would get us to 5,000 rupees, which obviously is not the case, but that just would have been cool. You know, but that didn't happen that way. I'm gonna deposit. I'm recording. I just wanna make sure I'm recording. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the screen's violently shaking now. Make Andrew feel a little better. Shut up. Shut up. You know, Andrew, come a long way, you know. Maybe Cafe won't show up. And you know what? There's a bet here. I've learned from Minecraft that if you place two villagers next to a bed, then the, the baby is made. So you know what, Andrew? <laughs> You know what? We're both villagers, you know? What about we just happen to be villagers? No, we're not doing that. Not in front of Kevin, and he just shows up. I have met you before. What a familiar scent. Long, long ago. Yes, well, when we were still young. So here's the, the thing. People recognize each other through their scent in all of like media. But like they have to have switched deodorants, right? Like I'm not crazy. I don't know. I just want to point that out. Masks of the sun and moon. We were we were to exchange them on the day of the carnival. Andrew, I'm sorry I was late. Welcome home. Tattle? Tee hee. They're lovers, but they look just like a mother and a child. Tattle will never stop being a bitch. And let's exchange the promise mask. We have exchanged our oaths and become a couple. Hmm. You are a witness. Please accept this next. You got the couple's mask. It's filled with their love. Please take refuge. We're fine here. Let's repeat the morning together. Wow. 
Well, I can't let the moon crash, so you know what? None of that ever happened. Sorry, but, um, you got things to do, and death is not on that list. But there is something else we can do now. There's been a use for every mask thus far, except for the circus leader's mask. So, what's the use for the couple's mask? Well... Uh, first, let's just see what, you know, what happens if you don't have it clipped. Well, first we have to wait in front of the mayor's residence. It opens at 8, right? Oh, 10 a.m. So, here's the thing. We actually have to do that side quest. Yet again. Why? Well, um, remember when I said we, uh, got a bottle of milk? I don't just mean milk and a bottle, no. If you look at our subscreen, there's one slot in a line of bottles. I have to legit do this side quest again, on camera, for you all to see. Yeah. You know what, while we wait, um... While we wait, we'll do some re-dead grinding. Uh, but yeah. That was such a happy ending. And we have to do it all over again. If you're just aiming for the true ending, you don't have to do it because obviously bottles and heart pieces don't really matter, and five bottles is more than enough to beat the game. Um, but this is 100%, and also I actually get both rewards when I play casually anyways, because the milk that comes into the bottle is special milk. I'm having trouble with the shield. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's called Chateau Romani. And it gives you infinite magic. Which is super useful. Oh shoot. I forgot to... Like, the, uh... Where is it? Shit, 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 shit. Dude! But yeah, you know, you experience a happy ending. So great, you know. Maybe you did it once you play Stone Tower Temple. So that way you can, you know, do the marriage thing and then fight Majora. No, you have to go through this two times and watch and you pass how you died together. And then do it all again just for a piece of round glass and or a hat. Because Link is a greedy motherfucker. It's either the postman's hat for the true ending, or the, um, the bottle for, uh, for beating the final boss, or cheesing it, rather. You know, take your pick, or just do both.
best part of Majora's Mask right here. All for a heart piece. God, I got exactly. Oh my God. That's funny. Exactly one blue rupee away from having to do it. What the heck? Deposit. Five hundred. Oh my god, we're so close. We need seven hundred rupees, man. Seven hundred. Until not only do we get a heart piece, but we get most of the world's wealth too. I wonder what the dollar to rupee conversion rate is. There probably exists a fan made one. And I've probably seen it before, but I'm too lazy to remember. I know the Poke Dollar to um, I know the Poke Dollar to a dollar conversion rate because Poke Dollars are actually Poke Yen in Japanese version. So one Poke Dollar is one yen. about this is that this is the last episode of Rita grinding. So, yeah. Shit. Shit, I was spamming you. Okay. By the way, I just want to mention that, um, I've never done the re-dead grinding before. Um, obviously it's not that big of like a, oh wow, he didn't do re-dead grinding, because look at what we're doing here. We're doing all of this for a singular heart piece, so obviously I haven't done this before. Because not only is it super easy to do, but the one heart piece is not worth it at all. But you know what? I'm doing it for you guys, so... Ow. 
doing it so you guys can just laugh. Uh, look, wow, this episode is literally just three dead dying over and over again. Alright, I'm out of here. One more round of this. One more round of round of redead, right? For money. hate the all right so dialogue because it makes you spam too quickly. I don't even need 200 rupees. Uh, I can feel it. I can taste it. Dude, I, I can. I need like 186. I believe. My taste buds are tingling at the fact that I don't have to do re-dead grinding anymore. stiff from sitting in this chair, grinding re -dead. Oh my god, one more. from grinding this mine. And it's not even 10 a.m. yet. I wanted to do this till 10 a.m. to go and do the couple mask thing. It's not even 10. This need something? Yeah, take a look at me. What? Yeah, yeah. Five thousand twenty-four rupees. What's this? You've already saved up five thousand rupees? Well, little guy, I can't take any more deposits. Sorry, but this is all I can give you. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen. The most useless heart piece in the game. Oh my god. I feel accomplished for some reason. Oh uh, yeah, the mayor's house is green. So I'm going to show what the conversation is like without the couple's mask, and then afterwards, I'll do the thing, so that way you can see both. There we go, Gorman's going in the door. Just at the perfect time. Huh? 
much the time folk has already taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and Cardinal Carnival committee members, please order those remain to evacuate. <laughs> you cowards, you think that moon will actually fall? The confused townsfolk simply caused the panic by believing this ridiculous, groundless story. And the soldiers couldn't prevent the panic. But outside the town walls is where the danger is. Well, the answer is, the answer is the carnival should not be cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Are you serious, Muto? It seems like that giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists, so why is the town empty? Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if the people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. <laughs> if the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vince. Vincent. We councilmen will stick to tradition. The carnival will be a success. I never heard of it of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Moronimo would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dutor? Let's not bring my wife into this. That's with the bunny hood, and now it's a couple times. Aha. His freaking nose was in the camera, dude. Ah. Ah. The couple's mask, what a nice reminder. So a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife leave? What? What did you just say? Yes, yes, everyone. We're all worried for our families. So why don't we end this meeting? But, Mr. Mayor, this will do. Whether you're stubborn and will stay and guard your family, or you prefer to run far and seek shelter, that's for people to decide on their own. Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are also stubborn. It's shameful. Welcome to my gratitude. That one's a little more reasonable of a heart piece. Well, I may be an unreliable mayor, but at least my family can depend on me. I want to protect my wife. Now, and all of that, and Gorman still hasn't made his way to the counter. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Uh, next time, we will repeat the Anjun Cafe quest. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.